This is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association, located at 1601 East 18th Street, Suite 200L. What's up, Kansas City? I'm Serenity. Today we have hip hop artist A Ward. Thank you. What's up, A Ward? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Get ready for Thanksgiving. Thanks for having me. Right. No yeah. problem. Uh, so tell us how you got into hip hop. Like, where did you start in that? Company? Oh, wow. Um, well, so I grew up in East Tennessee, Knoxville. Um, and growing up, I was in um, a family, basically five kids, single parent. We grew up in government housing, and my older brother, uh, Sean Cannon, was a uh, hip-hop artist in the area. So at about 15, 16, he really started developing a gift for hip-hop, and I kind of idolized him, basically, since my dad really wasn't around that often. And um, I started to listen to Wu-Tang Clan, and Nas, and Jay-Z, and Cash Money, different things like that, and so that influence really hit me, um, and it was something that I could somewhat... Um, identify with um, coming from more of a, a poverty stricken so I kind of clung to the hip-hop um, genre itself and uh, since my brother loved it and, and he was the one buying me clothes and, and putting <laughs> shoes on my feet and Jordans and stuff so that was something that I really uh, really enjoyed so that's kind of where that came from is just him being kind of like my hero at the time so so you're from Knoxville, you said? I'm from East Tennessee, yeah. So oh, okay. there's a little bit of a twang. Yeah, uh, I, I hear it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what it's coming out for. <laughs> so, How did you end up in Kansas City? Uh, I came out here to go to Bible college. Oh, so, okay. yeah, I started going to church at about 14, 15. I uh, got active in the church. And the pastor of the church that I was at at that time, he graduated from Kansas City College and Bible School, which is now Kansas Christian College, but it's in Overland Park. So I flew out here um, and just kind of leap of faith and decided, hey, let's let's see what Kansas City's about. That was 10 years ago, and the rest is kind of history. <laughs> so would you, I know you kind of try to stay away from labels, so would you say that you're not per se a Christian hip-hop artist, you're just a hip-hop artist, right? No, I'd say I'm a Christian hip-hop artist. Um, I know in uh, the Christian hip-hop world right now, Everybody thinks that that's a term that kind of boxes them in, um, mm -hmm. but I prefer to um, identify with being a Christian hip hop artist than to pretend like I want to take the Christian out so that I can't get on certain venues. Um, and that's just personally. I know that some people deal with it different ways, um, but I'm, I'm just not ashamed of who I am and, and I want you to know what you're going to get each time I perform. So whether it be at events like bars or an event like um, a church, whatever it is, you're going to get the same A award. You're going to get Christian hip hop artist, Christian battle rapper, Christian spoken word poet. That's what you're going to get the unadulterated truth of what Christ has done for my life. So, yeah. Would you say that you're more of a hip hop artist as opposed to spoken words? I know you were dabbling in both a little bit. And that's something I've always gone back and forth with. I remember we had two yeah. conversations oh, about man. that. I think I've retired from both like three times. Like, I've told myself, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm done with music. I'm just going to do spoken word. Um, I'm a writer. Uh, I love words. Uh, yes, sometimes... you got some incredible wordplay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, and that's when I kind of got to the point where I would just call myself a wordplay artist. Um, and what it was was I wanted to use the spoken word side of it to basically use it as a springboard into when you listen to my music, what you listen for. Because the music that I make, the verses I write, they all have something metaphor, punchline, simile wise that I want you to catch. Right. I don't do well when it comes to the catchy, you know, tunes and the, the catchy hooks and different things like that. Right. You're going to hear things that you might have to rewind it and say, oh, I get that now. So I wanted to use the spoken word as like a foundation. So they're like, oh, he's got what we call bars. He's got bars. Like when I go listen to his single, that's what I'm listening for, you right. know. And so I kind of go back and forth. So I think that um, the lane that I'm playing is just basically being an artist and then being used wherever God wants me to be used. And in the spoken word venue, it seems to have been a lot more effective than in the hip hop world, but I still love the hip hop side of it, so. Okay, so what LPs have you had out? I know you had one out like, uh, what yeah. was it, 2013? 2000, yeah, I think it was, yeah, about 2013. I think it was November of 2012 was the last album that I put out. So I started doing music in 2009. Um, so far I've got three hip hop albums and a spoken word album. Um, mm -hmm. So 2009, and I think it was 2011, 2012, and then a spoken word album I did in 2011 as well. Um, and I haven't done anything since. And uh, I've been itching kind of, I started an EP, and mm -hmm. then this battle rap stuff started happening. Right. And then it was like, okay, let's table the EP. Now where do you want me to do, God? So that's kind of where I've been. So if you could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be? Oh, Slaughterhouse. 
Oh, easily. Word? Yeah, and and like <laughs> then they're probably looking at me like, wait, I thought you said you were a Christian, You're right? Because right? I'm know? like, they are but, totally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no, no joke. Like those four artists are four artists that I have the highest respect for, just for when it comes to their pen game. Mm -hmm. um, and it's definitely my favorite group of all time. And um, I just basically, I basically think that if I could, if I could do a song with somebody, it would be them. Yeah. All right. So you you just got into battle rapping. Tell us about that. Like how being a Christian hip hop artist in battle rapping. Like how did you? You know, that's to some for some people. They're just like, why would he even get into that? Right. So tell us how you got into that. Well, I've always been a battle rap fan. So I mean, this this goes on decade uh, over a decade, and people are like, "Wow, you know, battle rap has it really been a long?" I mean, it used to be freestyle battle rap on the corner. You didn't write anything. Right. I mean, the sport itself has evolved. I remember in high school watching Smack DVDs with my brother and watching uh, things called Scribble Jam and WRC, which were were back in like 2003, 2004. So I've always been a battle rap fan. Um, the way that I deliver my spoken word pieces, per se. Have always kind of had a battle rap feel to them because of the, they're very punchline heavy, and I've always fought with: Do I do this? Do I not do this? As a Christian, do I right. jump in the ring? Do I not? Because battle rapping is it's a blood sport. Like it's no, it's no games. They yes. coming for you. They coming for you. When that go. camera turns on, <laughs> right? Yeah, there's no holes barred. They right. can say anything they want to say, and it's understood that hey, it's a That's battle. Right. And so I did. I mean, I, I talked with a lot of my friends, uh, Dylan Chase, Anatomy, the guy that produced my last album, um, Bumps Infinite, it's one of my good friends, and we've talked back and forth about the whole idea of a Christian battling. And I didn't feel like for the longest time that there was a platform that God really wanted to put me on to where he could effectively use me, and I was in prayer a lot about it. And then I met Jarvis. Um, Jarvis cousin. Jones. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Jarvis. Um, I met Jarvis, and I built a genuine friendship with him on Battle Rap and then Yeah, he's a huge fan. Yeah, yeah. shout out to the Connects. Um and then he has taken his platform and his store and built it with um, the Connects into a point to where I thought it was a legit professional platform as far as videography, as far as what they put on for the gift to be used. And so I stayed in prayer about it and they reached out and I said, you know what? This is something I gotta do. And so that's when I really took that leap of faith and said, I think I can I think I can be effective, I can be used for ministry and I can I know I'll be good. I mean I don't want to sound too prideful, but right. yeah. So your first battle was it was on Yeah, it was uh, a couple of weeks ago, right? Yeah, well it released a couple of weeks ago. So the battle was actually September twentieth. So usually it takes about four to five weeks for them to chop it down, edit it and get everything put out on YouTube. Um, so far, how many hits do you have? I know we were just talking about that before. 65,000, I think. Wow. Which is wild, yeah, because if you go to my channel, you see some, everything has like about a thousand views, you know? And so, <laughs> yeah, it was, whew, it was overwhelming. Like, you know, uh, I've really been in a season of trying to be specific to time management and how I manage my time daily. Mm -hmm. And then when 65,000 views all of a sudden happen. I know your phone was probably blowing oh, up. Your Twitter blowing up. Your, <laughs> did you say they put out an ABB for you? Yes. Like who is this People dude? Are putting, like, yeah, and everybody from anywhere. And um, it really just humbled me. And it's and the reason is this, is because I put in 10 years of being an artist right. and being a hip hop artist and being a spoken word artist. And one of my friends, Cash Hollister, said it, and I think I have to repeat it, but you know, he, he kind of seen me as one of the best kept secrets. Like, this guy is a talented I, guy. I honestly nobody... say you're one of my favorite hip hop artists in Kansas City. So. Right. And, and I don't want to, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but whenever everything just hit, and it was just kind of like, I know I'm undeserving from a Christian side of it, but at the same time, you put in 10 years, you're like, you deserve wow, 10 years. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. You know, thank you for people to start kind of right. seeing. Working hard. You worked hard. Yeah, it's kind of helping pay off, you know? And that's when I really felt like God really anointed me and ordained me to be in that position. Because not only did I battle, not only did I win, but I was used effective as ministry-wise as well. And I didn't go from that battle coming across as like, here's this egotistical, fake Christian who's down here living a life that's on both sides of the fence. I think people could see the genuine me. So. Mm -hmm. So how would somebody get in contact with you? If they want to battle you, if they want to just talk to you? If they want to battle me, they probably just need to put the phone down and just decide. Oh, no, just just, <laughs> no, no um, if they want to battle me, Award865, that's Twitter or Instagram, um, Award on Facebook, I have an artist page, um, and then my name is Kimsey Aaron Ward. So you can usually look up Kimsey on Facebook, and all you're going to find is me and my dad, really. So um, type in K-I-M-Z-Y. I'm there. Um, you can contact the Connects. Um, that's who I've been working with. Um, just 
um, on a friendship basis or whatever, um, or on a platform. You can holler at me there or uh, email me. There's tons of ways social media wise to really get a hold of me. Um, yeah, I would just email you because I, I know I wouldn't talk about it. Would. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if you brave, you know. <laughs> no, uh, well, I welcome any kind of encouragement, even if you want to chop it up, like on a level of if you're a Christian and you don't necessarily think that this is something I should be doing. I love just the conversation, the fellowship, the doors that it's opened that God's used um, in the battle rap world have been awesome. So. Well, thanks for yeah. coming in. Oh, thank you guys for having me. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. It's been a blessing being here. You too. So, thank you. I'm Serenity, reminding you to spit your peace, and make sure you check out whatsupkansascity.net. I'm IFBB Bikini Pro, Cat Williams, and when I'm not working out in the gym, I'm searching the web on Cascade Media and What's Up Kansas City. So, make sure you check them out.